Pimpin'. All right, the time right now is the bottom of the hour here. Craig got his hip-hop spot. What up, Big Pimpin'? What up, Rick? What's going on in the world of hip-hop? I don't know if you just got out of jail, been under a rock, or maybe you took some Xanax before the weekend started and just now waking up. Well, Birthday Bash 2018 took place in the ATL, and by all accounts, it was on fire. Um, like some of the highlight performances, obviously, was going to be Migos, who brought out Cardi B, who's ultra pregnant. Cardi. But yo, she still gave it her all. Like, what was like some of the standout performances to you, Shanika? Well, uh, Plies did a really good job. You know, he was dressed like a, you know, pimp and everything on the yeah. stage. He had on his church suit, but he definitely shut it down. Also, Tory Lanez did an incredible job. He brought out A Boogie. They rocked it. Yeah, people got to stop sleeping on Tory Lanez. Like, Tory Lanez is like a legit good performer. Juicy ended up coming out twerking on the stage she on the birthday did that bash stage. If it wasn't even birthday bash. <laughs> yes. They really loved it. The crowd went crazy. Man, yeah. She's a fan favorite. Crowd goes wild. So if uh, if you miss some of the highlights, you can go to hotspotatl.com. Check out the social media, man, and get familiar, man. Moving on, another hip hop news. Let's talk about Rich the Kid. He has been hospitalized after a home invasion, but he's actually out now. Uh, apparently, some dudes ran through his uh, homegirl's crib, or you know, he's dating a girl by the name of Tori Bricks, who lives in LA. Mm. And some guys came through and he tried to fight him off. I don't believe that. And then uh, and, and three more dudes came in and started pistol whipping him. I believe that. And then um, his girl, Tori Bricks, actually got beat up a little bit in the crossfire, too. Now, a lot of people were saying, yo, you got set up. Game is one of those people who's like, yo, she set you up. Mm-hmm. But, you know, Tori Bricks has been going on social media and talking about, like, Little, look at my face. Right. Do you think what? I would allow this to happen to myself? Because she's an Instagram mm-hmm. model, Rick. So, like, you know, she ain't going to mess up her livelihood just to right. try to, you know, get right. a, a chain in someone's pocket cash. So, I, I think, that, you know, somebody's probably watching him. Yeah, I'm sure. And then he also has that beef going on with Lil Uzi Vert. But I don't think Lil Uzi Vert would send the goons for, for Rich the Kid. Yeah, Lil Uzi Vert too small to be having beef, man. They can't be fighting, man. They need to get along. So I will, look, see, put some damn third graders on Lil Uzi Vert. Yeah, if, if Lil Uzi Vert ordered the hit, like a bunch of people would probably ran up on him and licked him or something. <laughs> or, or like t- or, okay. or, or touched on his clean clothes after he touched sticky things. Right. Like I don't think a little Uzi Vert would like you know, like have some dudes come through him and pistol whip him. It would be it right. Would, he would inconvenience him, but he wouldn't like you know be because like even when he got hit the other day, right? He didn't get beat up. He just got slapped. He sure did. Yeah. But little Ver- Uzi Vert is this, is he the same guy that's real friend that was riding through the neighborhood on the four wheelers uh, eating a popsicle? Yes, sir. Yes. Yep. Yeah, you shouldn't be fighting nobody. Because you saw in public eating a popsicle. Can't yeah, do that. Yeah, like if it was little Uzi Vert, they would have made a popsicle print on everybody. Yeah, yeah you can't you can't eat a bomb a I bomb can't. pop and fight somebody. It just <laughs> That was a lot. Not in the same year at least. He <laughs> seemed like a happy friend. It seemed like an episode of Sesame Street. Hey, what you guys up to? That's, that's great. This story is brought to you by the letter L. People out there take it. Speaking of L's. <laughs> Too many L's. <laughs> Just when Nas thought he was about to win the weekend, Jay-Z oh. and Beyonce came in out of nowhere with an unannounced release called Everything Is Love, and that is now dominating the conversation as to the new album that everybody needs to have for the week. But uh, yes. don't sleep on that Nas, and don't sleep on that J-Rock. J-Rock is down with TDE, like, you know, like Kendrick yeah. Lamar's label. I got a chance to listen to the album while I was traveling. It's really good. Like, really, really what? good. Like, mm. J-Rock, don't sleep on J-Rock. He came with it. Um, we need to find out who got the best album between Jay-Z and Nas, though. Listen to all the songs that didn't have a little election. It's so <laughs> not fair, though, Rick, because, like, Nas's album is, like, seven songs. And it's not, like, commercial hip-hop. But is Beyonce got records on the, on the stuff with Jay-Z? It's, yeah. It's really, like, a, Be- a Beyonce that's, that's, album with a side of Jay-Z. That's two against one. He need to uh, get Khalees <laughs> to do something. Oh. oh yeah, it would be a real uh-huh. angry. Like it, I would like to hear out. Like if Nas did the album with Khalees, it'd be great because she's like mad at him and like just to right. hear like that aggression play out on wax. That would be kind of cool. Yeah. But yeah. Um, you know, we can only be dreamers <laughs> out here in these streets, man. So <laughs> that's it for me for this other stories. I'm following Twitter, Instagram, and SoundCloud. H e a d k r a c k. 